Hi, we are back again today for another art lesson and I'm pretty excited about this one because we're going to be talking about some form of art that is all around us. Ooh, what could it be? Let's find out. Here we go. Hello! So today I have a really fun art lesson for you and we're going to put our artist's eyes on for a moment to see that art is all around us. But before we do, let's get going with our art motto. And it goes a little something like this. I will try my best, I will be creative, and I will problem solve. Now that we're in the right frame of mind, I want you to put your artist eyes on and notice that art is all around you. It is small and big and everything in between. Check it out. Here's what I mean. Your uh, fashion mm -hmm, has some art and even the tools that we use like cups and straws, totally made from art. And even the blankets that you have to keep you cozy and warm. All of these things come together to make functional items for us, but that are beautiful and work in our everyday lives. Now, I want you to look even bigger. Check it out. Your home is a piece of art. And the type of art that it's called is architecture. Yes, so those walls that you are living in <laughs> are a piece of art. Our lesson today focuses on art that is architecture. And we're gonna be using shape and pattern and colors to make our artwork so fancy. Yes. So join me and grab your watercolor paints if you have them. If you don't, I'm gonna need you to grab some coloring tools so that you can make your art so beautiful. And let's get going, shall we? Okay. Here we go. <laughs> okay, let's get busy. Okay, today in art, I can use geometric shapes to create a fantasy castle. I can use lines to create patterns and I can use watercolor paints. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create some bases for my castle. I'm going to create bases by using long and tall rectangles. I want my castle to only have geometric shapes. So I'm gonna use triangles, half circles, rectangles and squares to really make my castle look very fun and funky. Then what I'm gonna come through and do is add different lines all the way through and patterns. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this because I'm gonna let my imagination go wild. After I do that, I'm gonna add my details to my base. Lots and lots of details are what was really gonna make this fantasy castle look amazing. Oh, this is the fun part. I'm gonna be using watercolor paint today. And you can notice that I'm waking up my paints by adding a little bit of water to each of those little ovals. Once my paint is awake and ready to use, it will have a little puddle of water in it and that activates the color. I'm gonna take my time and I'm gonna rinse off my brush in between each color. Now, if you find that your color is a little bit too wet, you can just dry off your brush and just dip it in a little bit. Now, this is where the magic truly happens and it is my favorite part, especially when we get to paint to add color. I cannot wait to see what you create. For this part of my project, I have an extra special treat, a little helping hand from a very, very special friend of mine. Hi, I'm Violet. 
it and I got to color the heart. I hope you had fun creating these awesome castles and using geometric shapes and lines and patterns. I cannot wait to see what you create next. Keep on arting!